Good morning, everybody. Well, we did it. One trimester of distance learning complete. So with that being said, we welcome you to second trimester. We're happy to be with you guys this Monday morning, and we don't have too many updates for you guys, so we'll keep it short and sweet and swing straight into our student-led segments. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Yeah. What is up, Malala High School? I'm Clay Sproul, this year's Shared Love Coordinator, bringing you a Share the Love update. I know many of you have questions on if Share the Love is even gonna happen this year. I'll get to that later, but first I would like to recap on what Share the Love has already done. As you recall, our town was threatened by two devastating wildfires this September. Share the Love put on a wildfire merchandise fundraiser soon after. All were affected by the wildfires in some way. But despite that, the community came together to help those who needed a little more. I am pleased to announce that in just over one week of merchandise sales, Share the Love was able to raise over $28,000 for 16 families in need, ranging from entire properties being destroyed to those who needed help with unexpected expenses. I was able to watch the entire community come together during this time, and it was truly amazing. Now, on to Share the Love 2021. Yes, you heard that right, Share the Love 2021. I am so excited to announce that Share the Love is moving forward and we are planning to put on a Share the Love like no other. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we are going to make drastic changes to how the fundraiser is going to operate. The leadership team and I are dedicated to putting on a Share the Love fundraiser where the participants are not only safe from the virus, but also get the same sense of community and love they feel at every Shed Love event. This year, it is going to be crucial that you follow our social media pages on Facebook and Instagram so you can follow the updates on the fundraiser. Personally, the best part about the fundraiser is that it has no bounds because love has no bounds. I can assure you that we will make this the most memorable Shed the Love, even if it's from a distance. Thank you for listening to this week's update and if you have any questions, ideas, or concerns, please contact us on the email on the screen. Welcome back everyone to AGG Weather Channel. Yes, yes, I know we're not in my usual scene as always, but today I decided to talk to you guys about knitting because it's so interesting that even I'm doing it. You know, I started knitting this scarf back in 2019, in December actually, and it was supposed to be a Christmas present for someone, but did I ever end up finishing it? No! But today I'm gonna end up finishing it. So I'll show you guys the process. As you see right here, these are my crochet hooks. And then you see my knitting needles, wooden and metal. Here are the tips of both of them. Next you see my yarn, different colors obviously. My big fluffy yarn, it was expensive. And then my end of scarf slash beginning. And then my metal needles, they're really big. And if you're seeing this right now, go buy yourself a pair of knitting needles that are preferably wooden because these metal ones are hurting my fingers, a ball of yarn, and to start knitting a scarf for your dog, your your plants, you know, your plants, um, maybe even a random person on the subway, you know, doesn't matter, you do you. And just keep in mind that in the next video that you'll see me in will be about two, three weeks from now, and we will be back on our regular schedule about weather and hopefully seeing some snow. So take care. See you guys next time on AGG Weather Channel. Goodbye. Have you ever wanted to win a $25 gift card of your choice? Well, now you can. It's as easy as entering MHS's winter giveaway. All you have to do to enter is follow MHS Leadership One on Instagram and comment on our winter giveaway post with one thing on your Christmas wish list. It's that simple. All I have to do is choose one of these four things to comment on the post and enter in a chance to win a $25 gift card. Make sure to pay attention to your email where an update about resource pickups for materials used in the new trimester will be sent out soon enough. Now to finish up our student segments. Hey guys, it's Lola. So today I'm at the Hopkins Demonstration Forest and we're gonna go hiking. So let's go. <laughs> you getting this? It's important to remember to socially distance yourself from others. Six feet apart. Sometimes it's nice to take a second and relax. 
There are so many cool natural things you can find in nature. Hey! <laughs> Hello, my name's Tanner Foss Howard, the junior class president and your anchorman for all things news. We've had some absolutely wacky stories this week, so let's just dive in. Our first story pertains to our second trimester. I'm sure many of your classes have talked about the different ways our second trimester could look. But it makes me think. If they're getting the opinions from the generation who tried to eat Tide Pods, snort Smarties, raid a military base, and get famous from doing dances on social media, they're finally understanding evolution. Now to everyone's favorite segment, Florida Man of the Week. Not all people are bad people. The same goes for Florida men. Richard Wilbanks was walking his dog, Gunner, along the pond's shoreline near his home in southwestern Florida village of Estero, when a four-foot alligator lunged from the water and grabbed his dog. Wilbanks jumped into the water and pried open the alligator's jaws, freeing the frightened puppy, cutting up his hands in the process but never dropping his cigar. Wilbanks told reporters, Instinct just took over and adrenaline kicked in and I went right into the water after the gator and Gunner. So instinct. That's what makes Florida mans do what they do. I'm just glad Richard's instinct told him to go save the dog from the gator and not throw the gator into a Wendy's drive through window. Actual true story, look it up, it's a great read. And our final story, we had the election last month and actually, in my personal opinion, Well that's it for this assembly. We're glad we got to spend the first of the trimester with you guys and are wishing you a good rest of your week with your new schedule and a long and a happy winter break. Make sure you're looking at your emails as they're filled with important information and upcoming dates. And of course, don't forget to enter our winter giveaway. See you next year. My makeup's done. <laughs> yeah. Bimbo Bimbo Sas. I was not gonna say it. What was that, bro? Oh. I wanted to be like Vampire Cake. We're glad. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> and we're hoping I don't know what to say okay 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 why is it still recording bro like I literally like hey guys <laughs>